Hi hey guys. Uh, where is that? Okay, this is day two of Computex 2023. Um, we're here again at the Thermal Take booth. Uh, we're going to take a quick look at the builds we uh, made, uh, made or proudly made in the Philippines or built in the Philippines. We're going to start off with my uh, idol and godfather. Mr. Mike Samson, right, uh, he's uh, uh, pretty much a huge inspiration to all modders uh, in the Philippines. Um, he went to go with uh, the series or the Ceres uh, 500 case. Very simple, very well built. Uh, overall, let's say. Uh, I know it just it just works. It just works each and every single time he does a build. Serna, uh, this time around, he built in a core P60. Is this a P60, right? P6. Yeah, P6. Yeah, P6 TG. I'm sorry. Uh, this is the same case we have as well. Uh, it's the racing green one. It's the same case we have downstairs at the G Skill booth. Uh, he kept the, the green color stock and then just added details, pretty much like what we did downstairs. Mikey, what is this theme? Boba Fett. Boba Fett. Yeah, Boba. yeah it's a Boba Fett. Boba. Um, <laughs> just, yeah, Boba Fett uh, Star Wars theme built really, really nicely uh, went together. Uh, really fortunate also for him to get this case to arrive here in um, Nangang or uh, Computex without any damage because ours got damaged downstairs. Let's move all over to my build. This time around, uh, yours truly built in a Tower 500. We have featured the Tower 500 before uh, in our channel. And this time we decided to you to go again with the Tower 500. Uh, the Tower 500 theme we went to today, uh, we went with today is the initial D theme. Um, really, the biggest reason why we went with the initial D theme is because we received a case that was black and we had white fans and we didn't have enough time so uh, what we did was we kind of just needed to make it work and actually it did so I made a custom distro at the bottom and we used the Thermaltake DP500 uh, water channel or distro, distro plate and I used it as technically just a reservoir on this, uh, on this build uh, this build features a Asrock um, Steel Legend motherboard. Uh, this is running a an AMD 7700X, I think, uh, as far as I remember. And also, the GPU is a Power Color uh, Red Devil 6750. I think. Shout outs to uh, Power Color and Asrock for shooting uh, over these two parts at a very 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 short notice so thank you very much for helping uh, for helping me with this build Mr. Timmy Parker he's right there right behind us Tim. <laughs> so Tim yeah we I just met Tim today uh, very fortunate let's go and ask him we'll talk about uh, your build I love the color dude. again yeah this has easy uh, acid green Porsche color that we used here uh, so I just decided to paint the kind of outside frame of the case and then the GPU to kind of match. So uh, it's a custom uh, bottom plate that I made that allows up me to mount the GPU there. Uh, if you kind of look closely in the back, the reservoir is actually mounted in the back there. Oh, oh there yeah. you go, there you go. Yeah, I thought it was behind. Yeah. yeah, the reservoir is actually right there. There's a small D5 pump that sits in the back, so uh, the reservoir feeds into the pump. How about the tubes? Are, are, are these two the, the pre-bent ones, or did you bend them and then have them nickel plate? Uh, they're actually uh, pre-bent, uh, pre so. So cool. Yeah, because 16 is pretty hard where, where I'm from to find a pre-bent. 
always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow, till I finally prove it. As modders, we have our own, uh, basically, styles and signatures. And Tim has developed his own um, style of modding. Um, to me, it, it goes towards uh, simplicity and, and it's really clean, really clean, simple builds. Uh, he likes to not play around with his tubes too much, which in return produces something really, 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 really good. So thanks, Tim, for the interview thanks. and the taxi break. We're going to move on over to, I think this is the second place on the Thermaltake Case Mod Invitational that was held about this year or last year. Uh, this build is again proudly built in the Philippines. Uh, this is Sam Calianta's build. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong. Tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every breath. See my message start to spread. And I had so many dreams. Then you hit your teens. Life ain't really what it seems. Try to find out what it means. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it. And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow. Till I finally prove it Never listen to the no's I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the art It's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do I'm just being genuine Yeah, I'm sick of Alright, so let's move on over to uh, One of our friends in Thailand uh, This year's champion uh, This one is built by uh, I call him Non uh, For the lack of the ability to pron pronounce his name, man. I don't want to, you know, mess it up. So I call him Non. Uh, his uh, FB tag or FB page is Ainoni uh, PC Diary. And uh, in Thailand, they just, they're just they just in another level, you know. Uh, we're taking, we're going to go ahead and take a look. I call him Non, just by the last three names. This time around, would you believe this is a... Uh, the same case as the one we featured previously. Uh, I think this is the Tower 500, or whatever is left of it. Yeah, Tower 500 or whatever is left of it. The Mecca theme uh, type of build here uh, in the you know, modding industry. If you take a look at it, this one, actually spins around, you know. But I don't want to press any buttons and then you know. With the risk of ruining anything, but yeah, this one spins around. Uh, this in uh, a lot of these parts were CNC'd and 3D printed. And then the other thing about uh, how Thailand builds their builds is these are 3D printed, but you cannot see any print lines. Okay, they take their time in actually the post processing each and every time. Feel my own adrenaline, yeah, I do just what I do And I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah Now we are here at uh, the other corner. Uh, we're gonna take a look at our friend Su Chao's build. Uh, Su Chao and I have built um, uh, with each other in several competitions already since, you know, in the course of probably inside five years. Uh, I always lost, <laughs> basically. Uh, Su Chao is my idol. Um, I'm very happy to to lose to him. So, but basically, uh, this time around. Uh, he built in a CTE 7, C750 Air Snow, the white edition. Uh, the CTE C750 is a case that is hasn't been officially released out uh, to retail yet, but it has been um, already launched. So we're just waiting for it to hit the stores. Uh, I really, really want to build in this case. Uh, he went with the Sucha went with the pop art type of um, build. Okay, with all the outlines and stuff, making it look like a Comics. a comic book, a comic book build. At the back, there's actually a comic book style piece of artwork at the back of this case too. Really nice. Su Chao has never failed to impress me with any of his builds. Always top notch. Always class. Always another level. Oh yes, April, oh yes, 
I'm stable. Oh yes, no label. Oh yes, you know me. All right, let's move on over to uh, another build. Uh, another CTE C750 Air build. This time around, it's from uh, one of our very, very, very closest friends since day one, Mr. Alec Banks of Praytex Design over in the UK. Now, there's a lot to say about this build, but what I want to focus on as a budding CNC machinist uh, is the work he did on the distro plane at the bottom. Wow. See how the... I don't even know how to describe it. I want the real stuff, everybody listen up Cause I'll only say it once, I'm gonna show you all the path If you want it bad, I'm gonna show you where it's at Yeah, how you can get it back, yeah, cause I ain't never done I'll be number one, working hella hard until I get just what I want, yeah Rise just like the sun, yeah, fatal like a gun Shooters gonna shoot and I'm gonna shoot until I fall yeah. Always do it on my own, so I gotta get through it And the only thing I know is to love what I'm doing Never give up, never slow. All right, so here we are again uh, with another C750 build. This time around, it's from our friend over at uh, used to be Australia, but now he's in the U.S. Uh, Stuart Tonks. Um, Stuart's pretty known for his really, really minimalistic style of uh, water cooling. Now, um, this time around, uh, in a CTE uh, CTE C750 build. You can see Stuart's signature type of uh, building, which is really nice and clean. Now, uh, he made a custom uh, water panel or water channel at the side, and then all his tubes are facing down. Uh, the color is kind of like a turquoise or teal. Uh, looks really nice with white. You can never go wrong with that, uh, with that combination. So, probably tell that it's a GGF build. Uh, just because of the way it's, it's, you know, it's put together. Up next again is one of our favorites, uh, Mr. Uh, Corey Gregory from Designs by IFR. Uh, you can see this time around, usually Corey with his builds uh, are a little bit more extreme or more grungy. But this time around, Corey took a more simplistic route with his CT, uh, CTE build. Never listen to the nose, I just wanna keep moving Yeah, I put out all the art, it's my only medicine Yeah, everything I do, I'm just being genuine So, that's it um, That's uh, all the builds that uh, were that have been featured or that are featured here at Computex on the Thermaltake booth. Now, tomorrow's video, we're gonna do a quick tour of what Thermaltake has in store as far as their new products go. Uh, they have a lot of new awesome water blocks uh, for the current generation of uh, processors and they also have a lot of awesome water blocks for uh, most of the current uh, GPUs. So, um, I'm excited to feature that. Uh, we did hop by a little bit and then uh, figured that we're gonna have to do content on, on what they're gonna put out because they have some really, really good stuff. I'm excited to show you guys. See you all tomorrow. Yeah, I'm sick of being screwed, feel my own adrenaline. Yeah, I do just what I do and I hope you let me in, let me in, yeah. Today's feature. <laughs>